We're doing the Bloody Mary, probably the most popular morning after cocktail on the face of the earth. There's a lot of discussion about who invented the Bloody Mary. Uh, we're going to start with an ounce and a half of absolute vodka in the bottom of our mixing glass here. Uh, Ferdinand Pete Pedio, who worked in Harry's New York bar in Paris, was sort of considered to be the inventor, but Georgie Jessel said that he invented it. Uh, there was a tomato juice cocktail by Frank Meyer. I'm going to do four dashes of Tabasco. They're not coming out. They're coming out slow here, so I'm going to go a little bit more. And I'm going to do two dashes of Worcestershire. I don't over, I don't muddy the drink up with a lot of Worcestershire. The, 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 the beauty of this drink is the sweetness of the tomato juice. So two of Worcestershire, a pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper. This is the classic recipe, but you know something? Everybody in America thinks their Bloody Mary recipe is better than everybody else's. It's like barbecue. Uh, but this was sort of the original recipe. You can also use the green, by the way, if you want. I use the red, but the green's pretty good, too. You know, when you have tomato juice in the morning, what do you put in it? Lemon. So I'm going to put a little bit, a quarter of an ounce of lemon juice in here. Uh, we're going to eyeball that. And I'm going to actually offer to the guest uh, garnishes of lemon and lime, because lime is the traditional garnish, although lemon is traditionally in the drink, about four ounces of tomato juice. And because the tomato juice loses its texture, if you shake it real, real hard, I'm not going to shake it. I'm going to roll it. And I'm going to roll it without ice so that when... I need two more ounces. I'm going to roll it without ice so that when I, I pour it into my glass, the ice doesn't go clanging all over the bar. The ice is already in the glass. And after we've rolled this about four or five times and really aerated it and got it really, really well mixed, we're just going to strain it into this beautiful tall glass. The glass choice is up to you. You can use a goblet. You could use a, the biggest glass you have. <laughs> and this is what I would do. I would take a lemon wedge and a lime wedge, put them on the side of the drink, and let the guests make their choice. Bloody Mary.